Okay guys, so before we get started today, I just wanted to explain exactly what's going on. I am doing a thing called 31 Days of Horror Ween, and that is very similar to Jordan Hans's 31 Days of Hanzaween, which is exactly where I got the idea from. My dear friend Gail Gorgeous on Instagram actually came up with the name for Horrorween, so we decided to go with it. I'm going to be uploading one tutorial each day of October. Um, they are all the looks that I've been posting on Instagram and all that such, so um, if you guys have been staying posted on that then you would see all my looks um but yeah i just want to let you guys know that i did get the idea from jordan hans i was planning on doing this last year after she did it i thought it was a great idea she is a freaking genius i will leave links to her youtube if you haven't seen her which i'm sure you have and i'll also leave links to gail's instagram and social media and all that because i'm actually doing some collabs with her just wanted to get that out there and explain that to you guys since this is the first Halloween video. But let's go ahead and get started on the makeup. So I'm using Morphe 35C palette, of course, like always, and I'm using a light purple for a transition color. I'm starting with the eyes today. I think the eyes are the easiest thing to finish first when it comes to a look like this. I'm just putting that all up to my brow bone and extending it out sort of like a cat eye. Now I'm taking a darker purple and I'm putting that into my crease and on my lid a little bit. And now I'm taking a kind of burgundy reddish purple and I'm putting that even more into my crease just to darken it up. I'm taking NYX's black eyeshadow base, NYX Cosmetics black eyeshadow base and I am putting that all over my lid. I'm just putting it on with a brush and then I'm going to blend it out um, with my finger. With these eyeshadow bases I really feel like tapping the excess grease out with your fingers helps so it doesn't crease even more. Um, I've noticed that if you don't do that they crease pretty good. And I'm taking some black eyeshadow now and I put it on top of all the eyeshadow base and I'm extending it out with the cat eye shape I've done with the eyeshadow. The reason why I do eyeshadow beforehand is so that no fallout gets onto my foundation. Now I am outlining the Beetlejuice collar. I went ahead and did the sandworm because I needed to use a reference picture and I didn't know how it was going to turn out. So just use a reference picture and outline that sandworm. Now I'm painting in the collar. I'm doing a black and white striped collar. I'm using the Wolf Face Art and FX paint for the white. I ran out of the Mehron white paint. This works just as well. You just need to do two coats, definitely. Coffee, some coffee. But just make sure you coat it twice. The first time it comes out, it's kind of sheer, so... Now I'm doing the stripes for the sandworm. Like I said, I would definitely use a reference picture for the sandworm. They're kind of hard to draw out, but since we are doing a cartoony kind of look, it's alright if you don't get it too perfect or realistic. Now I'm doing the black stripes. And I'm also going to be outlining the white stripes in black. This was a super fun look. I had people telling me, like, oh, this isn't Beetlejuice, blah, blah, blah. Well, of course it's not Beetlejuice. It's a Beetlejuice-inspired clown. Come on. I just thought it would be fun to do something a little different than the normal Beetlejuice looks that you see out there. Outline the neck part so it looks like a collar. Now I'm taking some lime green paint from Wolf Face Art and FX and I am filling in the sandworm's lips or mouth, whatever that is. And right here I did it in slow motion. You can't really see, but I am outlining his lips. I lost part of it because it's so 
low down on my chest. You can't really see it, but just outlining his lips. Now I'm filling in the other little sandworm guy coming out of his mouth with white paint. And now I'm doing the sandworm's teeth with black paint. I'm just doing some little triangles that are all different shapes and sizes, basically. Fill in the tongue with the black and white stripes. And outline it. And now I'm doing the eyes red. I'm doing both of their eyes red. And then I'm going to outline it in some black paint. Now I am shading all of it. I am starting off with using a like kind of taupe, like gray brown color. Um, and I drag that out kind of far where the shading is. If you can see on these little swirlies on the left and the right as well. And then I go back in with a black and I go right up against all of it. I don't take it out as far as I do with the brown color. I just go right up against the shapes and not all over it, just areas where it would literally be shaded at. Next I'm taking some white NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Eye Pencil. It's in milk and I am lining my waterline and I'm bringing it down really far and I'm making it a super cat eye shape. I'm bringing it super far down in the inner corner of my eye and then I'm going to outline that in some purple shadow to make it look like that's my real eye or my eye is much bigger than it actually is. And then I'm dragging out the purple I'm bringing it down just a little bit because Beetlejuice is a dead guy, so. And now I'm taking some black and I'm going right up against that white liner to make it really pop. Now I'm doing the clown triangles. I'm doing one above my left eye and one below my right eye to give for some asymmetry. I'm just starting off with a light purple and I'm going to blend it out really well. Same for the right eye. Then I'm going to take a black and I'm going to fill in the center of it. It doesn't need to be too perfect or pretty because we're going to be putting glitter on top of it but basically just blend it out as best as you can. I didn't like how thick it was so I took some concealer and thinned it up a little bit so it matched the other eye a bit more. Now taking some glitter glue. I am using Too Faced glitter glue. Um, you can use anything latex works just as well and I'm just laying it down everywhere that I want it to be at and then I'm going to put glitter right on top of it. If you're doing a larger surface area with glitter, I would start by doing smaller sections. Um, I wouldn't do the whole area that you want to put glitter down at because glitter glue does dry very fast. So just forewarning you. Now I'm taking the Art Kitect Eyeliner by LA Splash Cosmetics. This is a really cool eyeliner. It just comes right out of the pen right there as you can see. I'm just doing a good old-fashioned cat eye, making it quite thick though and long. And now I'm taking NYX Cosmetics White Liquid Liner and I'm just doing some dots. I lost the footage there but just dots all over my eyelid as you can see right there. Now I'm taking some green eyeshadow and I am contouring my whole face with it. And then I took some brown shadow and I'm just going back in to deepen it up a little bit so it's not so bright green and flat. I want some dimension to blend it all together. And I'm contouring my nose now. 
I just use the regular gray brown color. I'm very pale, so I prefer gray browns over warm browns. Warm browns have an orange tone in it, so if you're pretty tan, orange browns are the way to go. Now I am coloring in my little clown nose. I'm doing it lime green to match my contour. And a little trick to make your lips look a little bit poutier, put some eyeshadow below them and it'll look like they're bigger. Now I'm taking the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and I'm mixing together these two greenish colors with a little sponge. I start off with this lighter green color. It looks almost teal or turquoise. But I'm going to do a few layers of different colors to make it look like some moss or, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Mold is growing on me, I guess, like he has. I'm just putting it in random areas on my face. Now I'm taking a dark green paint and I'm going to put that on top. Just stipple it around a little bit. You don't want to mush them together too much. Next... I'm taking, I think I took a brown right there. Yeah, I did. I took a brown paint and just stippled it around. I also did that on my chest a little bit too, but I didn't get it. Next, I'm taking LA Splash Cosmetics Smitten Lip Mousse in Bellatrix. It's this really pretty purple color. And I overlined my lips a lot. Um, it was on accident, but then I thought, hey, it's a clown. Clowns get crazy with their makeup, so whatever. Just go ahead and fill in your lips as you normally would. And then I just took a really tiny paintbrush, and I took the lipstick, and I extended my lips out a bit. Kind of like a Harley Quinn or Joker-ish kind of feel, but Harley Quinn and the Joker are both clowns, so where do you think they got this extended mouth from? Because clowns. Duh. Now I am outlining my nose, just in some black paint to make it stand out a little bit. Now I'm putting some black dots on the white collars and some white dots on the black collar. I didn't give the white dots on the black collars though. Um, I lost that footage apparently, but just for some added detailing. And some purple dots with some eyeshadow all over the place just to mix it all together and make it one complete look. But that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for tomorrow's look. I'm posting one look each day of this month. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was a really popular look, actually. Um, a lot of people loved it on my Facebook and my Instagram. So that's why I decided to post it first. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Bye, guys.